Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Nick with Resale to Rome. And if you're watching this video, that Jeep grill that's right behind me, I'm gonna take it to the booth and I'm gonna put a $200 price tag on it. And in this video, we're gonna go over exactly how I made it. It's just in case you wanna make one to sell in your neighborhood. I got the grill off of a guy on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. And then I have spent about $45 in materials to make it into its current shape, which is basically just a piece of hanging wall art. I think it would be popular in like man caves or, you know, basements. Uh, any type of Jeep enthusiast, I think, would, would really dig this. As you can see, turn signal bulbs are lighting up and you just plug it into a regular wall outlet. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around so you can see how exactly I wired everything up and how I got the uh, finished product. All right, quick scenery change, guys. I couldn't get the Jeep grill to hang on the nail inside, so I brought it outside where there was a nail that was a little bit longer. So right now we're gonna go over how I put this together. I'm gonna go over all the parts and pieces that you'll need to complete this project. Don't worry, I'm gonna put links to everything down in the description of the video. I bought a lot of it off Amazon. This is just a basic power strip that you would plug into the wall and the reason why I went with this one is because it has uh, USB strips right here coming out of the USB strips is some USB cable and the cable is just the stripped cable and it just breaks off into your red red wire and your black wire and then you're basically gonna use a uh, coupler connection to connect it to your turn signal bulb socket so very simple wiring red to red black to black you just repeat the steps on the other side i use gorilla glue to mount the turn signal bulb sockets and also use gorilla glue to glue a piece of cardboard in place and to glue this to the cardboard just kind of like as a spacer to space this away so the cord would hang better so if you remember on the front you have the black painted all this is is cardboard this is like a wall of a thick cardboard box that we had that we couldn't really reuse for shipping so i thought it had a pretty cool texture it's kind of got like a golf ball style texture in it or like a, a mesh wire texture and i basically just cut out two sections of it bent it so it would fit the hole for the headlight and then used two of these screws on each side so these are a type of like specialty wing nut screw that i use you can see they're pretty long uh left the long ones intact over here because they were hidden i use these because they held everything in place very well and i already had them uh, i got a pack at harbor freight i'll go ahead and throw a screenshot up of that basically the bolts just hold the cardboard in place and then you i just use gorilla glue to glue each of the uh sockets in place and then all this is this is just some uh piano wire or picture hanging wire that I use through these existing holes in the Jeep grill to use as a hanger. So taking a closer look at the front, you can kind of see there's the two screws that are holding this piece of cardboard in. I just use a flat black spray paint. I think, think it gave it a very good look. I like the way it turned out just fine. The bulbs are just a simple turn signal bulb and this is what you need to pay attention to because you see how that has like one contact point in the very middle there there are also bulbs that have two contact points and then the leds have like uh, their own special thing the important thing to remember is that those aren't going to work with if you buy this particular uh, turn signal bulb holder you need to have the bulbs that are just a single contact point all right guys so we're back inside i've got it back plugged in just to kind of give you a closer look I'll try to do a quick sweep the glow from the bulb is not too bright I don't think it would be very distracting you could leave it on you know in like a dark room if you were going to be you know using it like downstairs in a basement when you have other activities going on I don't think it would be something that would be too bright the only part that I couldn't really hide well was right here where the like one USB hid well but the other one I just couldn't get the spacing right to be in the middle to have enough slack for the cables so unfortunately you do see one there but you know maybe I'll make another one in the future and I can improve upon the design okay guys it's gonna wrap it up for today's video I uh, hope you enjoyed the content I hope you enjoyed looking at this uh, little project that I've been working on I'm gonna take it to the booth and I'm gonna put a $200 price tag on it all in on this project I'm just under a hundred dollars plus my time I want to be able to, to uh, double my money so I think $200 is a fair price point at this. I've seen some others on eBay of like some older, more metal type Jeep grills that have been, you know, listed and sold for around the $400 mark. Uh, I'm going to 
kind of feel it out with this $200 price tag. If it sells quick, then maybe I'll go up on the next one, but we'll see what happens uh, when it sells. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We have all types of reselling content here at Resale to Rome, and we would love to have you as a subscriber. So until the next one, guys, I'm Nick. This has been Resale to Rome, and we will see you on the next one.